Hey guys, so today is officially the day that I get the second vaccine. Uh, I'm nervous. I've been drinking, I've been taking a lot of vitamins. Not necessarily the, um, the kind that they see, like I think it's D12. I haven't been taking those. I've been just, I had some prenatals left over. So I've just been taking my prenatals and drinking a lot of water. I love this cup because you see how it's blue right there? And then it's, it shows you where your water is at because it's cold. I like cold water. So I've been trying to stay hydrated because that's what they recommended the last time I went. Um, I'm going to be getting it in about an hour. We don't have a sitter today. So Amelia has to come with us. Um, Chris is getting me some Gatorade. And some, uh, we have soup still. And getting a, he's getting a potato so I can have baked potato just in case I don't feel too too well <laughs> so I'm hoping I'm hoping that it turns out good and that I don't have anything wrong with me and I can just relax and you know go throughout my day but everyone's saying the second one is worse than the first so I hope this is not my last video <laughs> whatever it is I love you guys love you Amelia but yes that's, that's my sign of being anxious and nervous. So I'm going to make sure I have a snack beforehand. and um, So that way I won't be dizzy. Um, hopefully they let me. I'm, I'm hoping for the same people that I got last time. Uh, the person who gave me the shot. Her name was Ashley, like mine. So I could remember that name. So hopefully she will give me the shot this time. Because last time it didn't hurt. So yes. I'll catch you guys back. I'm out of breath for some reason. I'll catch you guys back when we're in the car getting ready to drive there to get the second shot. I'm doing this not only for myself, because if I was just doing it for me, I wouldn't have done it. But I'm doing it for Amelia, so that way if I am exposed to anything, she won't get it either. You know, so that way, protect it a family all right guys i see you in a bit so now we're driving okay. nice it's crazy so now we're driving we're on our way there um we are actually a little bit later than we were last time i think that's because last time we had a sitter and we dropped amelia off so that we're, we had to be on time because we had to drop someone off at a different place so now we're back to our usual late <laughs> what are you implying? Huh? What are you implying? Nothing. In hindsight, we probably should have went to the store after I got home. Well, I did come home by the time I promised. What, what time did you say? Half past. Oh, I didn't hear that. Because we were supposed to leave at 2.30. Uh, I said 2. Two thirty. I you, said 2. Yes, you okay. said 2.30. Well, my appointment is at 3.10. It is 2.50. Our map says it takes... 16 minutes to get there so we should be on time but not on time for when I first got the vaccine it's like maybe uh, probably like 20 minutes off the time so uh, I think Pfizer you're supposed to be exact time well, who, who can do exact I'm sure some people can the punctual people he gonna run a light nope almost oh I ran it he ran the light guys make it don't tell nobody don't tell nobody we broke the law. We're criminals. I'm a criminal. Do you guys know that song? I have a two weeks. We're going to have a ticket in the mail for 50 bucks. I hope we don't have a ticket in the mail. But, yes. So, we're on our way there. It's warm in this car. I have a big hair day. You guys can't see. Um, so, hopefully, everything turns out great. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, hello, Amelia. Oh. Hi, Amelia. What a beautiful name. How old are you? Daddy. Oh, yes. Amelia, say two. <laughs> say two. How'd you feel after the first one? Uh, I had the headache the next day, and then okay. I had the mouth feverish, vomiting, and stuff. So oh. I'm, I'm hoping this one is okay. <laughs> Me too. Hopefully, since it was bad on the first one, the second one. Yeah. Yeah. She, she had stomach flu-like symptoms. 
Yeah. So I had like flu like symptoms with the first one, but not with the second. So That's hopefully, what I heard. So hopefully. hopefully it won't be so bad. Okay. Well, you know, I did take Tylenol and maybe Propen with my side effects last time. So ready? One, two. There you go. You're not as nervous this no, time. No, I'm not. <laughs> I was more nervous last time. You were pretty nervous last time. Well, high five. You're vaccinated. Thank you. Very good. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Say bye bye, Amelia. Bye, sweetie. And then there's your car. Oh, That's for you. Yeah. Thank bye, you. guys. That one, that one uh, burned. And it hurt a little bit more. It did? Yeah. Wait, okay. Is this the same one? There's a bathroom right there. Should I trust it? No. No. <laughs> I, have, I have not used a single public restroom since last year. Yeah. So we're going to the observing area. Um, observation area. This shot hurt a little bit more. So, <laughs> it's, yeah. So hopefully I drunk water, snack, observing. So here we go. Okay, so I am done. Uh, I didn't get dizzy like the last time, so I didn't have to wait that long. I am getting a mild, mild, mild headache. Um, I don't know if the doctor was trying to scare me. She said she remembered me last time. Um, she said she got she had the first vaccine, Pfizer, and she was fine. The second one, she had full blown symptoms. Her stomach cramped. She got sick. She's she like, so prepare yourself. Because if you had it bad the first time, you're going to have it worse the second time. So just buy Tylenol. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. You're going to be out. I'm like, oh, man. Thanks, Doc. So we brought snacks for Amelia. We just gave it to her. She wanted some more crackers. She had an, a nugget earlier, and it fell on the ground. So I kicked it under the car, and she saw it. So <laughs> but she ain't eating that. So we got crackers for her. But yeah, the doctor... It made me nervous. She was like, yeah, well, my daughter got the second shot. She felt horrible. We all got the second shot. And everyone felt horrible. So hopefully you don't feel horrible, but prepare yourself because you will. That's how I felt. Like, you are going to be sick. You are going to throw up. You are going to have stomach cramps again. So let's just see how accurate that is. She did confirm what my doctor has said that those who had COVID earlier um, and they got the, the vaccine, um, their symptoms are worse. So there's a possibility that I did get COVID in January of 2020 because I did lose my taste and smell, but that was about it. And I had like, I was maybe sick for a little bit and out on the bed, but, and had some Tums, but I didn't really throw up. I didn't have stomach cramps that I remember, but I was like, I probably got it because I was, I was sick for about a week, but it was a week of vacation. So I didn't have to like call out of work or anything like that. But she said those who had COVID back then or COVID at all um, are reacting more severely to the vaccine. So, yeah. So hopefully that's, uh, hopefully though, all is well. She said her symptoms kicked in three to four hours after she got the shot. So right now it is 3.52. I got the shot around 3.20 today. So I'll update you guys in a few hours. Hey guys, so I am officially home now. It's blinds, you can see my blinds. Excuse the visitor that's on my forehead. Um, so we're home now. It is uh, four, almost 4.30, 4.20. Um, nothing yet, no, no problems. Uh, my arm was feeling a little bit, but it's all right. That's where the shot is. I'm gonna take the band-aid off later. This one looks a little different, it's a square, but that's serve no point anyway but yes yeah, so i am starting to feel a little headache tiny bit like i said in the car a tiny headache um a little neck stiffness in the back um that's about it a little tired but nothing too major so i'm glad for that so i'm going to just keep take it easy today and just rest so i'll get back to you guys a little bit later so i'm laying in bed i'm about to check my temperature See what it is right now. It is 445. 985. 98.5. But you know, I like to check both sides. So let's go on the other side. 
That's what I did in the other video. You did. Ninety-eight point seven. So that's my temperature as of right now. I'm gonna watch some magician. I'm gonna watch some magician and just relax. I got my water. Uh, that's about it. So that's what's going on right now. Hey guys, it is now seven o'clock. Um, I am still up, as you guys can tell. I'm standing right now, so I'm feeling okay. <laughs> my headache is like it's like that foggy feeling in my brain. Uh, a little fuzzy and just want to relax nausea slightly slight nausea um, my arm is starting to hurt it can go up to there with pain so what is this a right angle I don't know <laughs> math <laughs> but uh, yeah so that's the only thing that's going on right now at seven o'clock I am probably still going to have some soup for dinner just to make sure my stomach is okay because I don't want to experience anything like I experienced the other day because that was the worst. So I'm just going to have some, I'm still drinking a lot of water. I'm going to take vitamins still, continue that. So maybe it's the nutrients and the, as in the nutrients from the vitamin and the water that keep you hydrated. Maybe that's helping. But again, this is still, still day one. A few hours later, the doctor said symptoms happen about four to five hours after. So now it's like, what, four hours after? Been about three. Four hours, three hours after. So, still got some, some time to go, some sleep. But I feel like I can't sleep on this arm, which is okay because this is my dominant. So, with that, guys, I'll check you guys out tomorrow. Let you guys know how the night goes. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Mil Mil, you want to say hi? Come here. No. No? Okay, well, Amelia don't want to say hi, and I respect that. Respect her wishes. So with that, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.